If the Burka, we faced the last game of the Cyprus Cup uh, against Finland. Your, your thoughts on that match? Um, yeah, it's one we're looking forward to. Obviously, the campaign or the tournament so far has been quite disappointing, um, apart from the good result against Italy. So it's one that we're looking uh, forward to, and I think we're trying to you know, end the campaign or the tournament on a high here. Finns are a team you know quite well because, of course, they're in our Euro 2017 group. We, we played them in September and, and lost them, and we got to play them again in June. The fact that you're playing them here in Cyprus in March, is that a factor? Um, yeah, I mean, had we the choice, I suppose we would have chosen, I think both teams would have chosen to avoid each other. Um, but, you know, that's the uh, cards have been drawn that way, so we'll just have to deal with it now. Is there a chance now to maybe set down a marker for June? Yeah, I think we are all very disappointed with the result um, when we played them the last time. So we're kind of, I suppose, trying to make some autumn amends for that. Obviously, there's no points, um, you know, Euro, Euro points at stake tomorrow. But we will be trying to improve on our performance and um, hopefully then we can bring confidence into the next time we play them as well. We finished the group with just one point, but... You know, it could very easily have been nine, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like, um, I mean, when you look at the performances, there's no one really that stands out as been a particularly bad performance. Um, I suppose just maybe we're, we're lacking just that uh, finishing touch, maybe, you know. And I think, uh, you know, once a goal comes, maybe a few more might flow in, in games like that have been very tight. So, yeah, it easily could have been nine. But um, unfortunately, we just, like I said, didn't get the results in the, the first and the third game. I think we were um, unfortunate not to get something out of those games. And plenty of positives to take into the European qualifiers when they resume next month, particularly all the young players that have come through in this tournament. Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's been, I think, uh, anywhere between five or six, uh, about, there's at least four new, new players been capped. So, um, you know, we're that's just a huge positive. And that's what a lot of the, these March tournaments are for as well, is to try to give the younger girls experience. Um, it's hard to put someone in a competitive game that's never played before. So, um, you know, they've come on leaps and bounds even um, this, you know, week in training as well. And that's so that's been real real positives and you know we we can only take the positives there's no point in um you know dwelling on the negatives too much either we'll try and move forward and you know these these um these tournaments do bring us on as a team and a squad as well together they help us gel together for the qualifiers now coming up too